I also got my hands on the Marshall Origin 20 amplifier. Let's check it out. Hey folks, my name's Shane, you're listening to the Origin 20 Amplifier from Marshall. This is a new range of amps from Marshall. If you haven't already seen my 5 watt amplifier review and you're interested in that, I'll pop that up in the cards and you can check that out. Let's check this out up close. One of the great things about the Origin series is the fact they're brain dead simple, it's very easy to use. We have a 3 band EQ, bass, middle and treble. We have a tilt control and the further up the tilt control goes, the brighter the amp actually gets. Then we have a master output volume over here, so the further this way it is, we're running it at full volume. And it's a shame, this amp only goes to 10, I thought it might go to 12. We have a presence control as well, which also brings in a little bit more brightness. Now between the presence and the tilt control, you don't need a lot of it, at least to my ear with my guitars. So the further up the tilt control goes, look out, it gets pretty bright. One of the cool things about this amp is it has a gain control here, and if we pull it, we get more boost and if we put it back down we get less so it's cleaner with the button in you can also toggle that via the foot switch as well which we'll be doing today on the right we have a low a mid and a high output so we're running it at full 20 watts with the toggle switch down and it basically cuts it in half twice going from mid to low at least audibly to my ear this particular amp is loaded with a 10 inch speaker so it's still not a heavy amplifier in terms of physical weight but it still sounds pretty big. On the underside of the amplifier, we have an effects loop located right here, and we can turn that on and off thanks to the foot switch jack. We're gonna be doing that as well today. Over here, we have a DI out, which I'm not gonna look at today. We're just gonna mic this amp up and see how it sounds that way. A huge thanks to Sky Music in Melbourne, Australia for letting me borrow these amps. I really appreciate it. I gotta take them back, unfortunately, but this particular amp rocks. I really dig it. If you wanna find out more about them, all the links will be on screen and in the description below. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. Today I'm playing my PRS SE. This is all stock. We're gonna start with the amp in 20 watt mode, so full output mode. I've got the gain on the amp at about 12 o'clock and the master all the way up. So this is about as clean as it's gonna get while still having some volume behind it. This is neck pickup. <laughs> Let's try it with some overdrive thanks to the straight flush. takes overdrive pedals extremely well. That's on the lower gain mode. So let's click in the boost, and this is with the overdrive currently off. Man, I love the straight flush pedal, but I gotta say the drive just on the amp totally rocks.
Up goes the gain to about seven. It's gonna get pretty dirty. <laughs> Awesome. Let's see how the amp sounds now with the delay pedal going through the effects loop. I've chosen the Citec digital delay pedal. Let's give this a shot. Now to my ear, I'm not 100% certain whether or not that would be loud enough to gig with. It is loud, but it's not sort of call the cops kind of loud. So if you play in a really loud band, you definitely have to have this mic'd up, but it would probably do fine in smaller venues. Over to my 52 reissue Telecaster now, we're gonna check out the tilt and the presence control. This particular guitar is loaded with a set of Joe Barton, Danny Gatton pickups, and I've also got a delay going into the front end. Let's have a listen. <laughs> I know the presence is slightly off screen, but it's up to four. Now with this guitar, you don't really need a whole lot, so probably somewhere around two is the sweet spot. All right, tilt control to zero. Just turn that slightly, there we go. You can see everything. Up to four. Now, if you're gonna be using pedals into the front of this, it's probably a good idea to have the tilt a little bit further up, because when you start stacking sort of dirt and fuzz on top of something that's already slightly dirty, you want a little bit of extra top end. It sort of helps the tone. So let's try it with some overdrive now. <laughs> Guitar volume down. Whew, it takes overdrive pedals great. It does get a little bit bright, so you just wanna watch the tilt control. I'll probably have it around 12 o'clock if I'm gonna be using pedals. Let's see how it responds now with a fuzz. It's loud, that is loud. All right, let's check out the power attenuator on this thing. Notice I haven't even touched the EQ yet. That's because this amp just works. You turn it on, you get a good sound. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's uh, check out this power attenuator. <laughs> Down to mid. Looking at the waveforms on the computer, that's easily a 50% reduction and it's very, very noticeable as well. Let's try low. That 
it's bedroom levels kind of sound. So you can definitely get a really low, really kind of cool tube sound at a low volume. So hopefully that made sense. See if we can get that to sound a little cleaner. Now I can barely hear that and what I'm gonna do now is leave it on low mode but in post boost up this section of the audio so it sounds a little bit louder. Let's try it now with some overdrive. And now with the boost on. That's kind of like Fizz City, so if you want to get a good sound out of this amp with the gain cranked, you kind of got to have it on either mid or high. Let's try it on mid now. Yeah, that is a great sound. That's dead dry, no delay, no effects or anything else. So I've just adjusted the EQ. I've added a little bit more mids, taken out some treble and bass. Now with the boost. I dig it. Thanks again for watching guys. My name's Shane. So what do I think of this particular amplifier personally? I really liked it. I liked it so much more than the five. For those who are interested in these amps and you're going out there and looking to buy either the five or the 20, buy the 20. I think overall it just sounds so much bigger and fuller. You've got the option of making it loud, but you can also cut it down twice thanks to the power attenuator. And I find those tones better on this amp than the same comparable volume on the five, but that's just me. It's all subjective stuff, but for me personally, I think the 20 is where it's at. What are my thoughts on this amp versus the Origin 50 amp? Well, that demo and review is coming up pretty soon, so don't forget to subscribe and click the bell, and I'll give you my thoughts about the comparison between all these coming up. I've got to say too, the effects loop on this thing is awesome. Much like my DSL 40CR, which is the 2018 model, I really like that amp, and I love the effects loop. I think it sounds great. This pretty much feels exactly the same in terms of how the effects loop works and responds and all that kind of stuff. So it's very clean, very clean signal path going in through the effects loop. So I can't complain there either. Huge thanks again to Sky Music for letting me borrow these. Check them out if you live in Australia. All links will be on screen and in the description below. Thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya.